Your commitment together, Frank and Marissa, proclaims that you are best friends, that you are family, and that you are lovers. You two seem to be made custom for each other. You know, I could ask you a question, she would give me your answer. In fact, that'll probably be the way it goes for the rest of your life. <laughs> but the truth is, you're so alike in many ways. Your values, your motivations, you're almost identical. You're both achievers, which is great. But love is something you cannot achieve. It needs to be freely and graciously given and received. The day Frank met Marissa, he's been determined to make her happy. When he agonized for days over selecting the first gift he would ever get her, a five-time New York Times bestseller, and he's still that way five years later, planning every detail of his engagement at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. As you can probably tell, there's a trend here. Non-fictional books, museum trips. They're both huge nerds that are perfect for each other. It's great for us too, because since they met, we haven't had to do any of that stuff. DiBiase's couldn't ask for a better daughter-in-law. You're smart, hardworking, beautiful, cultured, and sweet. It feels like the entire time you guys were dating, you were also working a full-time job and going to school at night to get your MBA. With Frank's crazy work schedule, you both still found a way to make things work. And we're so grateful that Frank found you. You know what a big heart she has. She's the most loyal, incredible, loving person I know. But I always wondered, who would be good enough to take care of her? Who would realize how special she truly is? Who would appreciate her smart, nerdy side? Well, it's Frank. He is perfect for Marissa. <laughs> <laughs> you look so amazing. I love you so much. the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and by the state of New York, I declare that Frank and Marissa are now husband and wife. Frank, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>